Merry Christmas everyone. I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying your day and you have in mind those who can't celebrate Christmas. In today's video, we are customizing the Hellfire. So the Gauntlet Hellfire Interceptor, which is a police car. And I thought what I do is go around the Hellfire to show you guys what the differences are. And yeah, I've looked around it. There are no differences. Of course, we have a police variant and there's many different features that are different. But yeah, it's basically the same Hellfire. Don't expect no remodeled version. Not even like the wide body removed. It's still got the same wide body. And if you're wondering, the engine blocks are nearly similar. We just have exposed pulleys on the normal Hellfire. But on the Interceptor, we, uh, yeah, it's covered, which is, I guess, more suitable. And did I forget to mention the, the, the craziest part about this? That this car is going to cost 5.4 million. You heard that right. 5.4 million for this thing now of course you want to see if it's even worth it what modifications you can put on it let's find out let's find out okay let's start on front bumpers front bumpers gives us a splitter option and i'm pretty sure this is the same options you get in the normal hellfire then we have a secondary splitter color so the same splitter but secondary color then we have a carbon variant of that same splitter and then we have the secondary front bumper so the secondary color then just to change in splitters again. Yeah, which uh, <laughs> if you have watched my video of me talking about that, then yeah, you'd realize that I'm not too pleased with it. Someone did tell me that, Hella, what you should do is you shouldn't customize the car to your taste. You should just customize it how you think everyone else would want to see it. So like put on all the high end mods. And then when it comes to the car actually releasing in the game, then do your own specific, which is a really good idea. But exhaust options, yeah we've had whoa, big bore exhaust and i'm i don't know how long it's been since i've modified the hellfire but i think the same options but a cop car with these exhaust seems crazy so i'm gonna put the big exhaust option on i mean there's one bigger let's go for that grill oh whoa okay you can remove the grill on the police hellfire that is very strange that is very strange and then you can put of course secondary color you can make it black primary open so you can make it have a different design which i will be putting on and then secondary and then black yeah if we do look at the hellfire the normal hellfires modifications these are all the same modifications that come on that hellfire yeah exactly the same actually which is a bit of a disappointment especially when you're paying this much money you're getting the same body modifications and you're getting it from the hellfire which costs 745,000. so yeah it is a bit silly the modifications some of them don't suit like the exposed grill i don't know what can i say at this point what can i say like you you are spending 5.4 million so i'm guessing you know it's fine for me to feel a bit portrayed by rockstar here like we'll add all these cool gadgets in the police car which you know also belong on that Dana LE police car like the radar and the laptop and then yeah we'll just change the interior a slight bit put a shotgun right next to your head which is actually really cool like a mounted shotgun like they would have in real life that's the best part about this and it's probably not a shotgun I, this is the best angle I can get <laughs> I will check it out when I get out but yeah apart from the interior the modifications seem to be the same um how would that work how would having Sorry, sorry, I have to put this on, go outside and check how the sirens will work. <laughs> okay, yeah, it actually does cover it up, which is weird. So clearly we don't want any of that and uh, we'll go on hood. Again, same hood options. On a police car, come on. <laughs> this is it's getting, you know, I'm expecting these modifications, but then it, it, what, look what we're in. Um, okay, liveries. So liveries, we actually do have the same, it makes sense, we do have the same uh, liveries that are on the Stainer LE. The Stainer LE does have a few more liveries, but as you can see, it shares shares the same liveries from that Stainer, which, um, you know, is no complaint really. Like, what are they going to do? Add unique <laughs> police or uh, cop liveries, which, you know, I mean, police cars to modify is new to us anyway. So it's not like they can... Uh, uh, yeah, again, going back to how much we're paying for this car, it's actually crazy. 5.4 million. Like, how? But I don't know. Are you buying this? Are you actually... Who's buying this with shot cards? 
Oh, okay. This is different. There we go. We got a, an actual drag. So yeah, you can make this a police car that um, actually has a, a drag livery on it. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Or the you also have other race um, liberties on it. So, you know what? Pretty unique and pretty cool. But I think we all know why we're buying it. We want it to look like an actual police car, which I will be doing. I will be doing police equipment. We've got aerials, and this is where I think we may see our unique. I say unique. Um, seems like the same Stainer LE modifications. Uh, yeah. Uh, when are they actually going to bring this car out? 5.4 million? Then you realize it's just... <laughs> it's not a mixture between the Stainer and the normal Hellfire. Because it's just modifications from one and modifications from the other. Searchlights. And yes, we have the same searchlights as the Stainer as well. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Like, am I supposed to expect some newer searchlights or emergency lighting? Oh, that looks so wrong on this car. The normal LSPD emergency lighting looks so wrong. But if for some reason you want to take the lighting off, you can do. And you can kind of make it, I guess, an undercover cop car, which which will probably, you know, look better than having an actual cop car. Yeah, what is the point then? Like, we, we, we this is the first time we're getting cop... There we go, we got bull bars. First time we're getting cop cars, so we might as well make it look like a cop car. Oh, sorry, push bars. Uh, we have ones with lights on them and and it's pretty cool that this dlc they're actually allowing the lights to work so i can expect that to work uh these just look odd <laughs> um then we have some uh, led another push bar but i think i think i'm gonna go for this option um it looks sorry sorry i'm not gonna follow i'm not gonna follow what i want i'm gonna go for the heavy yeah an option which involves a lot of testing which will probably be this option. I want to see if the lights work. Rear panel. Uh, we can... Yeah, we can uh, just have the same options as the Hellfire. Respray. But yeah, you can respray it any color you want. Roll cage happens to be an option as well, which changes the seats. The shotgun stays there. And you can have a carbon roof if you want <laughs> on the cup car. And then skirts. We have primary skirts, secondary skirts. Spoiler. Uh, we have all the spoiler options, which of course, of course, I'm not going to end up putting on a police car unless, yeah, have this plastic spoiler instead. Suspension, yeah, probably just the same suspension option as the Hellfire. We'll put all the engine upgrades, we'll see how fast this thing is. And that's all the modifications, let's get out and drive this thing. Maybe when this actually comes out, I'll probably do a comparison with the actual Hellfire, do a race side by side. Surely it shouldn't be faster, but I mean... The stainer, the new stainer police car is actually quite fast and surprisingly fast. Not that it makes it any more worth the value that you pay for it, but let's see how fast this thing is. You know what? Let's actually crash it as well to see see what damage uh, it inflicts to other vehicles. Oh. Yeah. I forgot I'm uh, playing story mode. <laughs> There's an option on PC where you can uh, you can put on all the modifications that are available for this car. So yeah, this now has all the modifications that are that you can equip. Yeah, let's try again. Let's see how fast this car is before I decide to crash into others. Whether I uh, I don't have a seatbelt on. So from what I can really tell by driving it is I can't I can't see it being any faster than uh, the normal Hellfire. It feels very similar does pick up speed quite well and just feels like the performance is similar now i'll try again to do a little crash test <laughs> it didn't really work out before but um we'll try and do a crash test um well we'll have to do another one and uh, yeah it does seem it does seem a bit stronger yeah, and the car feels like it's still intact quite a lot. But weird testing, probably. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did have a good Christmas. And I really hope you guys have a great new year. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. See you guys in the next one.